I think the, the phrase is, if you want to go fast, go by yourself. If you want to go far, go with a team. I have a question. Um, I'm more on the nerdy side. And I've always like thought, as soon as I started this, I thought I should have someone doing sales. And all these coaches were like, it's your product. You can sell it better than anyone else. And then my friend, who's like my accountability partner again, is like, I think you need help closing. Like if you had a good salesperson, you'd get business because you're like setting up all this stuff, all these systems, everything set up. So I mean, I'm having good conversations with people, but I guess I'm wondering, do you hire, would you just hire a salesperson or just kind of, how do you go about meeting these, someone to be a partner or hire someone or how is yeah, it's a good question. You do? <laughs> yeah. um, I'll tell you what I've done. Um, but before I do, I'll give you a rundown of a couple of people that I've looked at to answer the same question for myself. Russell Brunson did not become Russell Brunson until he had Todd. Just didn't happen. Okay. And he, he'd done other things before where he'd hired people. I mean, the fact is the guy who knows how to sell can scale past the person who doesn't. Basically you can make a, a you can leave a wake of crap behind you. If you know how to sell, if you're crappy at doing what you're doing, then you can still sell. But Russell didn't become Russell until he had Todd involved okay alex hormozy and you can ask him but from what i observed he didn't become alex until he had layla who was an operator now they happen to be have a relationship so it seems like you know the benefit you know they're not he's not dividing equity between a partner it's all going to the same household but the reality is is he didn't really kick off until layla said you're doing too many businesses you need to focus on one okay so there's another one. Um, when I look back and I see it, Charlie, uh, Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett, there's two of them. Everybody knows who Warren Buffett is. You know, my, everybody knows who I am, but Ed would just ask, who's Jacob? Jacob is my partner. I would not be here without Jacob. Jacob knows way more about Facebook ads than I do. Okay. So uh, here's what I would say. Would you rather have 50% of a ping pong ball or 50% of a basketball, all right? And it's it's always, I think the, the phrase is, if you wanna go fast, go by yourself. If you wanna go far, go with a team, okay? And when you have something built out like you do, Lori, that's a really challenging place to be at. Cause it's not like you're splitting a percentage of nothing. You have something, you already built it. You already have somebody on, but hiring a person is a very, very challenging thing to do. And it's a challenging thing to do because why do you wake up and do what you do every day? Lori, why do you wake up and sit in that desk and do what you do? I know it may sound cheesy, but it is like to help people. <laughs> well, like, I think you like I, to help people. Especially like the other entrepreneurs, like that are small business owners. I just get excited about that. They're also entrepreneurial like me. So I want to help them grow their businesses just like how I want to grow my business. Yeah. By show of hands and in the book and in the chat, if you think about it, how many of you guys show up and do this every day because you love this game? we got a bunch of hands going in the chat. Dan, you don't love the game, bro? Butter, you don't love the game? Yeah, I'm just like searching for the hand thing. No, no, just do it with your hands. I can see oh, you. Oh, okay. You yeah. know, I, I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's, it's one thing to love to help people. And I think that that is like the North Star, right? North Star is like, what is the value that I provide to my end user? But the game, man, the game, if you guys are on this call, it's because Something about the way you were brought up, something about the way you, the cut, you, the cloth you were cut from made it so you did not want to go work. I've never had a, a, a job. Like I have never worked in corporate America. It's not bad if you have, but if you're here, you left corporate America or you decide never to do it. Coming up, I sucked at school. Okay. I was not good at school. You could not, if I would just sit there and be like, I don't want to do this. I want to go, whatever it is. I started my first business when I was 
uh, 15. And then I had like my first real big business. I owned a mortgage company when I was 24 years old. I grew it to be the third largest mortgage company in Idaho by the time I was 26. Okay. It's because I love the game. It's the game. So if you're going to play the game, you better know the best rules to play the game by. And for me, Lori, I'm not speaking for you. You're going to do it best. If you find a partner, I own three businesses. Okay. Two of them, you guys know about one. You don't, all of them are with partnerships of awesome people who complement mine. I would never be in a partnership with a me. I already got me. I don't need another promoter at Upex, right? I don't need another person who knows how to sell. Don't need that. But I need a guy that can build products, can backfill what we're delivering. I need a guy who is good with people, who is good with our team and operating like operations, all that kind of stuff. So it's one thing when you have 10 customers, but when you, when you have over a hundred, I mean, if you want to build it big, my opinion, Lori, is you need a partner, not an employee, a partner. That's what I would do.